computer studies lesson 4 computer mouse computer mouse lesson objectives after reading this chapter you will be able to identify computer mouse and its buttons you will identify computer mouse and its buttons you will also learn to hold the mouse properly identify single click and double click you will learn what is single click and also you will learn what is double click identify mouse pad and its use mouse pad you will learn what mouse pad is and why do you need one so a computer mouse is different from a mouse run running in your home a computer mouse helps to move pointer on the screen so a computer mouse means it's not the same mouse as they have shown here in the picture the animal a computer mouse helps to move pointer on the screen. The pointer that you see here on the screen is moved by the mouse. Mouse pad. Here, the red color thing over here under the mouse is called a mouse pad. The computer mouse is kept on a pad called mouse pad. So you keep the mouse on a mouse pad. It helps to move the mouse easily. Mouse pad helps to move the mouse easily. It also keeps the mouse dust free. It also keeps the mouse dust free. So that is about mouse pad. Next, mouse buttons. A computer mouse consists of two or three buttons. Means a computer mouse has two or three buttons. If a mouse has two buttons, it also has a wheel in center. If a mouse has two buttons, it has a wheel in center. Here is the wheel. So now look at this mouse over here. You have right mouse button that is here. Then you have a scrolling wheel. Then you have a left mouse button. And the mouse is kept on a mouse pad. Holding the mouse. Here you will learn how to hold the mouse correctly. When you hold a pencil, you hold it with your thumb and two fingers. Look at this boy here. He is holding the pencil with his thumb and two fingers. You must hold the mouse in a right way. A student who is left-handed will hold the mouse in a different way than a right-handed student. So if you are a student who writes with your left hand, the way you hold the mouse and a student who writes with his right hand holds the mouse is different. It's not the same. So the right-handed student will put the index finger on the left mouse button and middle finger on the right mouse button. So if you are a right-handed the student how will you hold the mouse you will put the index finger index finger is this here you will put the index finger on the left mouse button and the middle finger that is this finger on the right mouse button the left hand student will put the index finger on the right mouse right mouse button and the middle finger on the left mouse button. 
So the left hand student will move it in the other way, the opposite way. That is, he will have his index finger on the right mouse button and the middle finger on the left mouse button. Color the picture given below and label it. So this is the mouse pad. Then you have the right mouse button and then you have the left mouse button. Here is the mouse pointer on the screen on the on the screen and this is my mouse pointer that is moving. So how will you point things on a computer? We use arrow in the computer to point things. This is an arrow. I use my pointer or the arrow to move around to show things. We use arrow in the computer to point things. The arrow on the computer, computer monitor is called a mouse pointer. So what do you call this? We call it a mouse pointer. When you move the mouse on the mouse pad, you will see the mouse pointer moving on the screen. See? When you move the mouse pointer, you will see the arrow you will see the mouse moving around on the screen. Okay, so that is all about mouse pointer. Now clicking the mouse. Click or clicking the mouse. When you have to listen to music, you press the play button of your tape recorder. When you press the button, you hear a click noise. Now when you press something, when you press a play button of a tape recorder or anything else, you hear a click sound. Click sound is something like this. A sound like that. So just like that, when you press the left button or the right button of a mouse, you will hear a click sound. You will hear this sound when you click the right or the left button of the mouse. When you press the left button of the mouse, it is called left click. So when you click the left button of the mouse, you call it left click. Likewise, when you press the right button of the mouse, it is called the right click. And sometimes when you press the left button two times, Two times. Two times. It is called double click. When you click the mouse two times, it is called double click. You must know to double click the mouse, you should press the left button two times very quickly. Double click, you have to click it faster. You cannot click one and then after some time, two, that is not a double click. A double click is yes. just like that, it has to go up. So, computer etiquette always place the mouse on a mouse pad. You have to always keep the mouse on a mouse pad. Hold the mouse properly. And then you have to the mouse. So now you know that the mouse should be kept on a mouse pad. The mouse has two buttons and a scrolling wheel in the center. You must hold the mouse in a right way. The mouse pointer moves in the same direction as the mouse. The mouse pointer and the mouse they both move in the same direction. When you press left button, it is called left click. When you press right button, it is called 
right click. When the left button is pressed twice, it is called double click. So the keywords in this lesson, mouse pad, mouse pad means the rubber pad on which the mouse is kept. Mouse pointer is the arrow that you see on the mouse. Mouse pointer is the arrow you see on the monitor. Left click, when you press the left button or the left mouse button, it is called the left click. Next page, keywords, two more. One is right click. When you press the right mouse button, it is called the right click and when you click or when you press the left mouse button twice two times it is called double click so i want you to revise the lesson once more this lesson four and then do the exercise question number one Choose the correct word and write in the space provided. The helps to point things on the computer. What helps to point things on the computer? Mouse. The sound you hear on pressing a mouse is called the call click. The is always kept on a mouse pad. The computer mouse. When you press left mouse button two times, it is called double click. Now check your answers. When you are done, let's go to B. Fill in the blanks with the missing letters. Mouse has two buttons. The mouse is kept on a mouse pad. The arrow on the computer monitor is called mouse pointer. The arrow on the computer monitor is called And the last question, pressing on the left mouse button is called left click. You can check your answers. Now, C. Tick the correct and cross the wrong one. Number one, a mouse has five buttons. No, wrong. Why? A mouse has only two buttons and one wheel. Number two, a mouse pad helps to keep away dust. Yeah, a mouse pad helps to keep away the dust. Three, when you press a mouse button, you can hear a click sound. Correct. Four, mouse pad should not be used. Mouse pad should not be used. That's wrong. Mouse helps to point things on a computer. Yes. So the first one is wrong. Second one is correct. Correct. Wrong. And correct. Correct your work. And let's go to the next page. On 
answer the following question. How many buttons are there on a mouse? There are two buttons. Question number two, what is a mouse pointer? The arrow on the monitor. Three, what are the two types of clicking? Two types of clicking, right click, left click. What is a mouse pad? A mouse pad is a rubber pad. Mouse pad is a rubber pad on which you keep the mouse. On which we five. Which button is pressed? To make a double click. If you want to make a double click, which button should you click? Left mouse button. Left mouse button. Last question. Circle the picture that shows the correct way of holding a mouse. How should you hold a mouse? The picture in the center. Check your answers and then if you are done we can go to the next page. F. Look at the two pictures given below, find out 10 differences between them and circle them in picture B. Okay, so you are going to look at the picture A, this is A and B. And if you see anything different, you will circle the difference on picture B. Now here in picture A, the window is just opposite the girl. But in picture B, the window is by the side. So you can circle it. That will be one. Then in picture A, the lamp or the light is right above here on the roof, just right on top of the girl. But in picture B, it is opposite. So this is the second difference that we found out in the picture. Likewise, you have to find out 10 differences. Now you can complete the exercise. So what did we learn in this lesson? We learned that a mouse has two buttons, which is called right right mouse button and left mouse button and also it has a wheel then we learned to hold the mouse properly we learned we learned the uses of a mouse pad we learned about the mouse pointer and it's you use it why do you use it and finally we learned double click double click means clicking the left mouse button twice so you can revise the lesson again and check the question and the answer